Why do I have hungry days where I feel like I can't stop eating? Ever have them before? I can vouch for that myself, actually. Some days you just feel like you're a lot hungrier than normal. Maybe you feel like nothing's different, maybe, in, in your head, but you're just a lot hungrier than, than you normally are. And some days you're, you're fine, some days you're not. So there's a few reasons I'm going to go over. So over the next three to five minutes, I'm going to go over a few reasons that to consider why you may be hungrier on certain days and less on other. So number one, and you're probably going to know what I'm going to say here, is your sleep. So sleep, we know, is linked to your hormones. How much sleep you have will dictate certain hormones like leptin, for example, which pretty much has a big impact on how hungry you are. Um, so considering that, if you have a lot less sleep, also from a common sense point of view, your day is longer, right? So because your day is longer, you have more hours in the day to just survive. So you might have your breakfast early, you may have your lunch a bit early, you may snack, whereas if you get up a bit later or more normal time, you maybe don't have your breakfast till this time and then maybe you don't need as much snacking. So there's lots of impact from the sleep, not to mention that you're, when you're tired and stressed, your, per your perceived value, if you like, from food is different. So you might perceive foods as more rewarding than they actually are, which may make you feel like you're hungry, but maybe you're not actually hungry. Maybe you're actually just lacking in energy because you're lacking in sleep. And this is where diarising, keeping a bit of a diary of this can be really helpful to get some facts in and see, okay, what, what, yeah, what, what is different about this? So sleep is the first one. Is your sleep any different? It could be quality of sleep. It could be amount of sleep. Number two is protein intake. We know that protein um, keeps you full up, so it acts on your hunger hormones quicker than anything else. So it will tell your body, yep, yeah, I'm good, I've, I've got food in me, you know, wait 20 minutes or so. It will keep you more full up than any other nutrient. So we know that that's a key thing. It's not just the amount of protein you eat there, it's also the boluses throughout the day. So for example, if you have protein once in a day, yes, you might feel quite full up, but it's not gonna have the same impact as if you had it over three meals in the day. So you're getting three boluses where that body is, your body's gonna get that signal of, yeah, I'm good, I've got that protein intake, I'm now full up. So that can be a key thing. Is your protein a bit different today? Is it, is it also the type of protein? We could go into this in a bit more detail. So if you think of the type of protein, um, take dairy protein, for example, it's quite high in something called casein protein, which is very slow digesting. That may keep you full up for longer. Then we've got beans, pulses, things like that, which are full of fiber. That might help you uh, stay full up for a little bit longer. If you're just simply having you know, shakes all the time, like protein shakes and replacing that with meals, then maybe you're lacking a crunch, you know, that crunch at lunch, um, which might just make you feel a bit more satisfied. So maybe you need to add some veg and fiber in there as well as we move on to that side. You know, what's your vegetable intake like? You know, we know that it adds a lot of water and volume to your meal and the volume of your meal, aka how heavy is your plate? Like if you had a paper plate, uh, so you could really feel the weight of the meal. Like, so uh, there was one study that showed that the heavier, when people use paper plates, they tend to eat less because they can feel the weight of the food in their hands and it feels like they're eating more. So uh, paper plates for the win. No washing up either. Anyway, um, so we've got to consider food volume, like increasing vegetables and like fruits and fiber in general, to bulk out a meal is gonna be a great way to increase the food volume and again, help keep you full up. And that could explain why maybe some days you, you actually feel like you, you're hungry all the time, but maybe your food volume is a lot lower. So I'll, put, I'll give you an example of this. You could have, I could make a big pasta bolognese, like bolognese sauce. It could be the same amount of mince, the same amount of uh, sauce. However, one of them, I'll probably add a hell of a lot more water to because I've added loads of vegetables to it and I've added loads of fiber to it. So it's sucked up all the water and I've added more in. It's, it's just grown into this like a lot bigger portions. So I could probably now get eight portions instead of five. Now, the thing to consider with that is, is I might still make it four portions because I know that the calories are pretty much the same and I'm just adding some fiber with some vegetables. So I'm having the same amount of calories, but then the volume, I'm actually eating more volume, but similar calories, okay? So that's a key thing as well. Another thing to consider is just your stress levels in general. Um, so if you're quite stressed, you might have a learned mechanism where 
or habit, if you like, where when I'm stressed, I eat. Or other people, when I'm stressed, I don't eat. So it can be a coping mechanism because we've taught our body to, and our brain, if you like, to say, if I'm stressed, I'll eat because I need it, it just makes me feel better because I'm, I'm now doing something. Uh, when we're doing something, we're not anxious, right? That's why people eat when they're stressed because when you're doing, you're not actually anxious for that split second. So can you replace that with something else? Can you move a bit more? We know that exercise does actually help with hunger. So maybe if you look at your days, okay, why am I having these hungrier days? Is it on days where you're more sedentary? We know that people who um, stay seated for longer periods of time tend to actually eat more in the day as well. So not only are they burning less calories, they're actually eating more, their hunger levels are higher. It seems like sitting down for long periods actually dysregulates our hunger hormones, which is crazy, right? Because we're not burning calories, whereas going for walks and stuff like that can actually curb our hunger. So it's almost like win-win in the other direction. So can you move a little bit more in the day? Is it those days where maybe you are at the desk for longer periods and maybe we need to look at those days and go, okay, I will be hungrier today. How can I, how can I, what can I do to possibly help with this? Can I increase my fiber? Can I increase my veg? Can I increase my protein? Can I get a workout in at a certain time? Um, like that mid-afternoon part or whenever it can impact. Can I get some sunlight, daylight, in the, which will help as well? So I hope that helps. Reminder that our reboot program is starting next week. We have a flexible start date. So any questions on that, let me know. Marlborough Devices, all from home. And I will see you later. Take care.